Hi everyone. So I have an I have a treat for the CS users. Um, this is Quick Swap, KTX Quick Swap. Uh, this is a free sky replacement tool. Uh, let me show you where to copy your scripts. So you go to your Adobe folder, then you go to the Photoshop version that you have, go to your presets, and then your scripts. Then just paste the chaotic quick swap in this folder and then restart Photoshop. Uh, then you can go to your keyboard shortcuts and just assign a short a shortcut to your to your script. Make sure that it's on application menus, then open file, then scroll down till you get to scripts. And then you just uh, click onto the chaotic quick swap and then just give it a give it a, a shortcut and then accept so let's let's see how it works so control shift and x uh, you can just for the cs users just click the close button here in the corner and then we need to now just play with this exposure and the contrast. So we don't want our trees edges to be too dark. We don't want to create fringing. So I think something like that is fine. And then click done. And now you need to browse for your skies on your computer. I've already done it with mine, so that is why it's opening my sky folder. Then choose a sky. So, okay, let's just go with, with that one. And then here you want to click enter if it's already fitting against the sides of the canvas. But if, if, your, if your sky opens like this, then just hold a uh, shift and alt or option and drag in the corner until you put it to the canvas the size the size of the canvas and then click enter you don't want to drag it up or down just drag it to the size and click enter and then uh, i like to set my brush opacity to 50 so that i have more control so use a nice soft brush and then just brush it in And there you go. It's done. If you're using a sky that is not matching your your image, it doesn't match your foreground, then just click onto the the sky layer and bring up your levels. Now I noticed that I can't bring up my levels in CS while it's um, a smart object, so I need to rasterize this first. So right click on it, rasterize layer, and now I can bring up my levels. This is not an update to the Chaotic plugin. This is a script on its own. And then you can just play with your levels and match your sky to your foreground. And there you go, done. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little software, this free software. Cheers. Hi there. So we have a bit of a treat for you guys. Um, this is not an update to the Chaotic plugin. This is a script on its own. And um, let's just go to the part where you paste the script. You go to your Adobe folder. And then to your Photoshop version that you have and then presets and then scripts so you put, just paste it in this folder and then restart Photoshop and then you can assign it to a keyboard shortcut uh, just go to edit and then keyboard shortcuts make sure that it's on application menus go to file and then just go down to scripts scripts and then here's mine chaotic quick swap Mine is set on that keyboard shortcut, so let me just show you how it works. So, Control Shift and X, it brings up this uh, little pop up here. Uh, you can just uh, press the Escape key to close, 
and now we want to just move the sliders and try and get a nice mask so let me just adjust these sliders you want to watch out for those three leaves you don't want to make the three leaves um, the edges of the trees too dark so I think something like this is fine and then you have to browse for your sky folder I already did so that is when mine is showing up on the skies then choose your sky and then just click enter here um, unless your image opens up like that then you would first need to hold shift and alt or option and then just drag in the corner until you have uh, reached the sides of the image you don't need don't don't drag the image up um, that's just going to mess things up so once you've got it to the sides then just click enter and then you can just I set my brush to 50% opacity so that I have more control and then just brush it in and this is completely free um, yeah and that's that's it done you can open the folder and then you can hold alt or option and then just left click on the mask and you can still tweak your mask um, but yeah that's 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 about it um, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little free software and uh, you can feel free to share it with others cheers guys